All right, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has seen these like beautifully organized fridges on Instagram and Pinterest and whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, they make me kind of jealous because my fridge doesn't look like that. Anyways, it's been eating away at me, which is obviously totally normal. And I decided I had to have a fridge that was organized. It probably has to do with the fact that I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant and nothing I'm doing makes any sense. So I figured that I could test it out for you guys and see if it's really worth it. I spent something like $350 on home edit refrigerator organization products and labels. And I'm now going to organize my fridge like an insane person. So come along, come, come. My box has arrived yesterday which I don't have a container store close enough to me that I can go to it. And they always just send the most like excessive boxes when you order from them. What I ordered by the way was like the home edit organization like system for fridges. They have these little like packets so you don't have to think about what you need. You just like buy their system. Cause I was like less thinking seems like a good idea. You know what guys, before we open these, let's just make a coffee really quick. Before the internet shames me, I'm making a decaf coffee. Not that pregnant people can't have coffee, but I already had one today, so. Everyone relax. We actually just got a new coffee machine. This is like the Philips latte to go. Boy, oh boy, guys, do we really like it. 10 out of 10, I suggest. Can we all agree that the cup you drink your coffee out of matters? My coffee tastes better out of these little can glasses. I can't explain it. You get a double shot, bartender. I'm not driving. I'm gonna melt a tiny bit of sugar in here, ice, almond milk, then we can get started on the fridge. Cause I guess, I mean, I guess that's what you're here for. All right, gosh darn it, let's get to work. So yeah, I'm not even honestly totally sure what I bought. I was just like refrigerator organizing set, cool. Veggie bin, divided fridge drawer. Another divided fridge drawer. Ooh, those stack nice. I could get into that, those are nice. Another one, I wonder how many we got. I was just like, here, take my money. I'm an irrational pregnant woman who needs a really organized fridge. I don't wanna like speak too soon, but I just feel like I'm not gonna regret this decision. A large berry bin. I will say I did a little research about like fridge organization. I'm not just going to this totally blind. And a few things did mention like putting your fruits and veggies in bins like this instead of in the crisper drawers that we've all been doing for 800 years, like we've always done. Cause they say it puts it more at eye level so you can see it, which makes a lot of sense to me because I do forget about things in my produce drawers cause they're huge. I'm really confused. This is called a divided fridge drawer. This is a large divided fridge drawer, but they appear to be the same, but apparently they are not. Egg organizer, again, another large berry bin. Apparently they think that peop the average people eat a lot of berries, which actually we do eat a lot of berries, so it's fine. But the only thing that I kind of wish, and maybe it's on their website, is like if they sold this set of all the stuff you need to organize your fridge, like I wish there was like a, maybe a little video or something to tell you what the heck to do once you've committed to it. Oh, I did buy their little labels, the fridge labels, which I'm not gonna lie, I actually had awful reviews, but I was like, if I'm committing, I'm committing. Small fridge bin. Now we have a small berry bin. So here's a narrow fridge bin and it's got a top on it. I don't know how I feel about that. We're really gonna be taking the tops off of something every time we reach into our fridge. All right, so here it is. This is everything that it came with. Three narrow fridge bins, two small fridge bins, eight million berry bins, some large divided bins, and an egg thing, and like a drawer, and some labels. So now I don't know what to do. I just realized I didn't take like a before picture of my fridge, like I should have. I know this has nothing to do with this video, but I paid like $3 for this red pepper. Why is a red pepper $3? We just have this bottle of champagne that's been here forever because I can't drink it. Saving it. Okay, let's perform a little movie magic here. I'm gonna go ahead and just deep clean this. You don't need to watch me scrub. All right, the fridge has been cleaned. I am wetter than I was before. It got a little hairy there for a few minutes, but everything has been washed and cleaned. So from the research that I could find about home edit organization, for fridges or just like fridge organization in general was one, definitely use the clear bins cause then you can always see what's in there. Two, you're gonna create kind of like zones, which I typically try to do. Although I do find it hard to stick with my zones because I don't have good organization in there. So I'm curious if this will help me stick with it. Oh, are these really stickers on every single one of these? Oh. Why? Oh my God. I'm always sitting here peeling stickers all morning. 
Each one has like eight stickers. This is so frustrating. I do not want to spend all morning peeling stickers off stuff. All right, I'm about to give up on this simply because taking these labels off is gonna take my entire my entire life and I can't do it. But I'm gonna try one of my tried and true test day hacks. You heat up the adhesive with a blow dryer and then usually it pulls off. All right, success. That hack never lets me down. Now I have to blow dry every single one of these. You'd think they would fix that. That is some bad packaging. I'll be back in 200 years when I take all these labels off. Finally got all the labels off. It feels like it took 100 years. In reality, it took me maybe a half an hour, which is still way longer than it should have taken to take labels off of bibs. Quick break to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, which is Fetch. Fetch is a super easy to use app where you can earn free rewards on literally anything you buy, including groceries to stock up your pretty new organized fridge. Snap a picture of any physical receipt or use the e-receipt function to scan online purchases and you will earn points on things that you have purchased. Then redeem those points for hundreds of rewards like Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, and Walmart gift cards. The app is 100% free to use and a super quick and easy way to get rewards for things that you're already buying. If you haven't already downloaded Fetch, check out the link in my description box and use the code BFCOFFEE to sign up. That will give you an additional 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. I do really like these little berry bins. You can take the whole piece out, you can wash what's in there and put it back in. And that is a pretty nice design. So like I can't fit an entire red pepper in here. So that's a little frustrating. All right, I'm gonna do my little stickers. I need a lot more stickers. I can see why these stickers didn't get very good reviews because they should have come with a lot more. So I did like the produce and veggie ones. Those ones seem pretty clear cut to me, but now I have like all of these divided bins and I'm really sure what's supposed to go in them. I guess let me just start trying stuff. I'm gonna have butter. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let me get some of the sauces out of here. They're gonna have to go in the drawers. I'm finding that what I have to do, I'm gonna get a snack, hold on. It looks pretty, but I'm feeling a lot of anxiety about this. <laughs> thought is actually to make one of these like bottom bins leftovers and condiments, produce. I mean, that feels pretty good. What constitutes a sauce? I'm not really sure, but. Okay, so here's how I feel about it initially. Um, I love the way it looks. There's lots of pieces of it that I think could be really practical and make a lot of sense. It might take a little more time as far as maintenance, like when you bring the groceries in, a little more maintenance with putting them away. You can't just like throw stuff in the fridge. But it's also what I do for my pantry and I do find that little bit of time at the beginning often pays off just like in day-to-day -day life. So I'm not like totally knocking it. This could really work out well. There were a lot of features about these products that I really like. I love the berry bins that those pull out. I almost wish that I had gotten a couple more of those. My initial thought is that the divided bins are not as practical as the, as the drawers, because I like the idea that the drawers pull out. You don't have to like take the whole piece out, but the drawers are a lot more restrictive because you're sort of stuck with like that space and that space only. Like a lot of these divided bins, I'm not really sure what to put on the other side of them. Um, we don't don't, like have a lot of like small yogurts and stuff. I'm gonna live this this for like a week. We're gonna come back in a week and see what this fridge is looking like. All right, so it's been a little over a week since I organized my fridge. Let's go take a look, see how it's looking, and I can tell you my thoughts on this little experiment. All right, here we go. This is what my fridge is looking like. I didn't come in and like touch anything or organize it before. In general, I would say that this has actually kept my fridge quite well organized. Ultimately what I will say that this allowed me to do in my fridge was really create zones that I don't think that I had before and maintain those zones better than I was able to to do ever before. Having each one of these door shelves be labeled has just created these as little zones. So I know condiments, I know sauces, I know dressings. Now coming inside, I've also created some general zones. I use these home edit bins to do a lot of my produce. And then I have, I do have additional produce in one of the drawers because some produce is just obviously too big to go in here. But I've really liked having my produce up here instead of in the drawers where I usually keep them because it's 
much easier to see what I have. I don't forget about stuff. I feel like it's a much more practical place to have them. I'm still not like sold that necessarily these are like the best storage bins ever because some veggies don't fit like perfectly in there. Next shelf up, I did um, a row of fruit. I have loved having my fruit like this. My kids eat a ton of fruit. I eat a ton of fruit. These berry baskets are so great. I have my egg container. Then you will see I actually have this one bin here that's totally empty because I kind of just wasn't sure what to do with this one. So it's probably gonna go away for now. I tried doing a few different things with it and it just, it was just kind of an awkward size. Um, but again, I'm creating sort of zones. So I have my eggs and then I used one of the little signs here that says bakery. So this is where I'm keeping all of my bread stuff. And then this last shelf has just ended up as like a miscellaneous shelf. So I have like an extra thing of spinach and that champagne that someday I'll drink. Next one down, I've created a zone. So I have the little meat sign. This is where all of our meats are going. And then down here at the bottom, I am using the drawers here. I have some of my dairy on top. So like ricotta cheese, yogurt, cream, what have you. And then I've been putting butter into this little drawer, which I really like. And then I've been trying this one out as snacks. Um, you can see we just have like a random croissant in there right now. My kids don't really eat a lot of like refrigerator snacks, I guess. I don't necessarily know if this one will end up staying. I'm gonna live with it for a little bit longer, but I do like that it's sort of been zoned. And when I do have like a random snack left over for my kids, I have a spot for it to go. And I don't forget about it living in my refrigerator. And then one of my favorite things that I sort of ended up doing, to me, drawers were always for produce. It really wasn't that effective because I would forget about produce that was in there. It would go bad. So I ended up making this a leftovers drawer. And so right now I just have some cookies and then I like bulk make pancakes for my kids for breakfast. I have been loving having a leftovers drawer, you guys. It is a game changer. Just like the snacks, I'm far more likely to eat the leftovers if they're in there. Lots of times when I would do leftovers, I would forget that they existed. And I feel like this has made it so much more effective. You can see like, I don't have any like random pasta that I forgot to eat that was in there. Okay, we're sitting back down because you guys, I'm just like too pregnant. The other day I was literally just like, walking around my house talking to somebody and my Apple watch went off and it was like, it seems like your heart rate is kind of high, but you're, you seem inactive. And I was like, it's fine. Just a seven pound baby inside of me at this moment. So what's the final consensus on doing an Instagram worthy fridge? The truth is I kind of love it. I'm cringing a little because I thought that this was just gonna be kind of stupid, but I was wrong. Overall, what I found that it has allowed me to do is one, create better zones inside of my fridge. And by having things zoned, it just makes it really easy to put it back where it goes, where before I would just kind of like throw it in and shut the door. Subconsciously, it's just like you can put things back where they go without thinking about it. And then you always know where they are when it's time to get them, which means actual food waste has gone down because I'm not like forgetting about things that are in there. Also, I've been loving using the drawer for leftovers. Now, as far as the actual organization system itself, like buying the whole home edit fridge organizing system, I don't think you necessarily need to buy the whole system. I think you can pick and choose the bins and probably save some money. Some of the bins and drawers I didn't really end up using because, you know, we don't use a lot of cold snacks. Or maybe you are somebody, like your kids eat a lot of yogurt pouches and a lot of cheese sticks or whatever, and so it would make sense for you. So, I mean, I liked buying it in the sense because it can be a little overwhelming to just go into your fridge, totally not sure what to get. But I think if you wanna be the most practical about it, I would start with buying just a few of the pieces that you know definitely make sense for you and then maybe adding on as you need to. And then finally, as far as management, because that was my big concern, I've actually found that managing it is actually not that hard. Like I said, because it's zoned, your brain almost like, it just helps your brain sort of go straight to where it needs, the things need to get put away. It forced me to take a few extra minutes when I was putting away my groceries. Particularly, it was like the produce type of stuff, like to take it out of the bags, to put it into the bins. In the long run, it saves me time because everything is like already, like I rinse it when I put it in now, it's all ready to go and I can see it all. All right, my friends, that does it for this video. If there's any other organizational type stuff you would like to see me try out, let me know. I do have a video I'll link down below where I actually hired a professional organizer to organize for me and I sort of shared that experience if I thought it was worth it or not. But if there's other like organizational or cleaning type systems you would love to see me try out, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If this is your first time finding my channel, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Remember to be kind to yourself and others and I will see you all in my next video.